Honestly, lose a station in drawer today. That's simply because uh, drawer one is set up at station one. So now we're in drawer four, so I'm standing at station four. I'd like to start uh, showing you the passport system that is headquartered in drawer four and then the associated probes and sensors in five, six, seven, and eight. It begins here with the Passport Explorer Pack. It's called the PS2000, and it's actually uh, this small handheld um, device. It's an elaborate voltmeter, and you can even hang it from your neck for individual work with the lanyard. There is a uh, user's guide that explains the use of it, and a quick reference guide that will help you get started. That's all stored in a plastic case. Uh, you can hook it to a computer through a USB cable, and we will do that at times in here. And you can also run it battery operated for portable usage, and I provided some uh, AA batteries for you. Make sure that whenever it's not in use so for long periods of time, you remove the batteries. Otherwise, it can corrode the internal electronics of the Passport Explorer. Uh, that's a very nice system. It's the base of all the work we do electronically, along with the computer. And this Explorer pack right here is quite valuable. Uh, they run about $150 to $200. I'll take you now over to uh, drawer five. Drawer five contains two different uh, packs. The first pack here is your temperature sensor pack, and this is actually the temperature sensor. Uh, here's the thermometer that will plug into that temperature sensor. That's all stored in a plastic pack, and uh, two accompanying instruction cards that you'll want to take a look at. Also in that drawer five is our pH uh, sensor pack, and the pH sensor itself is this little blue uh, box that plugs into the PS2000. Uh, the pH probe is actually a combination of this electrode, which is blue, that hooks to the sensor, plus your uh, electrode storage bottle, which keeps the sensor electronically healthy. We we'll always want to make sure there's buffer in there, and you'll see that when you start using it. There are two instruction cards that come with the pH sensor also uh, to show you how to set it up and calibrate it. And that's generally what all these uh, cards are about, setting up, calibrating, and getting a quick start, proper usage with all these uh, passport probes and sensors. Now that completes drawer five, the temperature and pH detection. We'll move on to drawer six, where we're going to look at current, voltage, and conductivity. Electrons and ions can move, and we call that flow electricity, whether it's in a wire circuit or it's in a liquid. Now when we're measuring things in wires, we use the voltage amperage sensor pack, and this is our voltage amperage current sensor. It has its own electrodes with alligator clips and uh, contacts uh, right in it permanently. You may also need to sometimes uh, extend that or uh, relate to that, and we have our alligator clip pack that can also be used for extra uh, measurement or extending the measurement. There are two instructional uh, cards that go with the voltage current sensor uh, for the quick start and setup. Uh, we also want to be able to measure electricity flowing through a liquid, and that's done through what's called the conductivity pack. And the conductivity pack has a conductivity sensor that can measure three different uh, resolutions, uh, very, very detailed to very, very general. We'll be using that a lot in uh, Chem 2. And here's the actual conductivity probe that hooks to the sensor and then back into the PS2000 Explorer Passport. Two cards again connected, one called the conductivity quick start, and then the setup and calibration to make sure you set up, use it properly, and that it's working properly. We're going to learn a lot about calibration over the next few weeks in this class, making sure your equipment work uh, accurately and as precisely as they can. Well, that takes care of the electricity component of our equipment. Let's move on to uh, how we can measure uh, gas pressure. Well, we're now talking about drawer uh, 7 at station 7, and that's our pressure sensitive, absolute pressure sensor. We have a pack for that. It can measure uh, uh, pressure from about zero to seven atmospheres, and for those in CHEM 2, that would mean up to 700 kilopascals, absolute pressure. It's not relative, as you hear on the news or the weather, it's an absolute pressure sensor. And here it is right there. It hooks into the Passport, to, our Passport Explorer, the PS2000. We've got some associated uh, equipment that goes with it, adapters, hoses, and a syringe for those experiments. And there's only one card called the absolute pressure quick start card. Uh, this is used extensively during Chapter 10 in Chem 2 uh, when we study the atmosphere and gases. 
uh, very valuable, probably won't use it in Chem 1, but we'll use it extensively in Chem 2. Our final piece of equipment in the lab stations in drawer 8 is the colorimeter. Now the colorimeter will only be used in Chem 3. It's a very fine piece of equipment. It's actually an RGB uh, spectrophotometer. But when you go to college, you'll get to use infrared and possibly even ultraviolet spectrophotometers. But we only work with visible light in here, so we do red, green, or blue. Now the colorimeter box uh, is to store the equipment. Inside the box is the colorimeter itself, which you will place the samples to be tested inside the box. It's totally dark in there, and a different color of light can be transmitted and absorbed. Uh, we have vials with uh, our caps to put our samples, our liquid samples. We're going to study the absorption or transmission of those three colors of light, and little labels that we use to make sure that the vials are lined up properly in the color perimeter. Um, the light has to pass through uh, straight and we want to make sure that we've tested these vials for the least amount of refraction or bending of light and they're marked that way. There's also four cards that come with this. We have the quick start card, the calibration card, and some other cards that explain activities and how you can use it in combination with the computer. All of these uh, probes, sensors can be attached to the USB cable to the computer and we will do that uh, more in the advanced classes than in uh, Chem 1. That concludes or summarizes all the equipment available to you in your uh, lab stations in the eight drawers. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to go through a couple other pieces of equipment you want to be familiar with.